Welcome to today's video on how to set up your brand new cold card device. In today's video, we're gonna cover setting a pin for your cold card device, as well as obtaining your seed phrase words. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, you do want to take your cold card device out of the package that it arrived in. You also want to examine the contents that came in that package as you're going to be using them just a little bit throughout today's setup. In the package is going to come your cold card device uh, as well as a wallet backup card where you're going to be writing down information pertaining to your pin and your seed phrase words and then a packing slip with your serial number on it. We're going to cover that in just a moment. Thing to remember about the cold card is we're setting it up. The cold card devices are designed to be used air gapped, meaning that you never have to plug your device directly into your computer, although you can with the new MK4. And what we're gonna be doing is plugging my cold card today into a simple wall outlet just to supply the device with power. As soon as the device powers up, we'll be ready to go. On your screen, you are gonna see a terms of sale and use screen. You can go ahead and press the check mark in the bottom right hand side of your device to continue forward. The very next thing you're going to see on the screen of your cold card device is the serial number. Now you want to take this serial number that's on the screen of your cold card and match it up with the serial number that's printed on your bag, just to make sure that there was no funny business, that your device wasn't messed with or swapped with a fake when it was on its way from the manufacturer to you. You can go ahead and press the check mark to continue forward, and you're going to be presented with a new menu item with the top option that says choose pin code. Your device pin is not your seed phrase. It is not your private key. The device pin is specific to the device and it just gives some additional physical security to your device. You wanna make sure that if your device falls into the wrong hands, that somebody couldn't just use your cold card to try to access your Bitcoin. Your cold card device is gonna to display to you some information about how the pin works. To scroll down through this information, you can press the eight button on your cold cards, also the down arrow, to scroll through the information. And at this point in the video, I do recommend pausing the video, scrolling through this information and really reading about how the cold card pin operates. I'll cover it here in just a second, but just so you can get the full experience, I do recommend reading through the cold card screen. When you get to the bottom, you can press the check mark. You're gonna be taken to a new page. It's gonna give you some warnings about forgetting your pin, making sure you don't forget your pin. You scroll down on this page, instead of moving forward by pressing the check mark, this time you do have to press a special button to prove that you read the entire message. If you read through the information about how the cold card pin operates, here's kind of a crash course. The cold card pin is not as simple as, you know, a four digit or a five digit or a six digit pin that you enter all at once. The way the cold card pin operates is that there's actually two parts to the pin. If I wanted my pin to be four digits, all zeros, the way that that would function is that for my prefix, for that first part of my pin, I would enter zero zero on my device and press the check mark. I'm gonna get shown my anti-phishing words. I wanna make sure to write those down on that wallet backup card that came with my device. And then it is gonna say, enter the rest of your pin. And I'm gonna enter zero, zero again. It'll prompt me to enter my pin prefix again. So there's no typos. It just does kind of a sanity check for you. Press the check mark, view your anti-phishing words, press the check mark and enter the rest of your pin. I know it's a little bit different than how normal pins operate, but it does get easier the more you do it. The more you get comfortable and unplugging your device from power, plugging the device back in and entering your pin just to make sure you know you can access your device, I do recommend attempting that once you've set a pin just to build that muscle memory. And now new seed words again is at the very top of my list. Uh, that's what I want to choose here. I'm gonna go ahead and press the check mark on new seed words. And this next page is showing you, giving you some options really, uh, as it pertains to your seed phrase words. So before we make a selection here, it's really worth covering uh, that your seed phrase words, they are the ultimate backup to your Bitcoin key. These seed phrase words should always be kept physically secure. You should absolutely at no point ever take a picture of these words, store them on a flash drive, put them in the notes app on your phone, or even a password manager. These seed phrase words are incredibly, incredibly important. So I do just wanna emphasize that here, just to make sure that that's known. Now on your cold card screen, you're gonna see some options available to you. You see the 24 word, which is kind of the default. 
seed phrase setting. There's a 12 word seed phrase option, which is just a little bit easier to write down 12 words instead of 24 words. And then you also have some additional options down below that say 24 word or 12 word dice roll. That does give you the option if you're an advanced user to roll some dice and enter some additional what's referred to as entropy or randomness into your seed phrase. For this setup, I'm actually just gonna choose the 12 words. So I can write down my 12 words. My device is gonna say generating, and then I'm actually just gonna see my list of 12 seed phrase words. They're gonna be showing to you in an entire list, starting with word number one. You can scroll down on the screen using the eight button to view the rest of your words. I do wanna note the order one through 12 is the most important thing. You wanna spell them correctly, of course, but you also want the order to be correct. Case sensitivity does not matter. You can do whatever you feel comfortable with just so long as you have them spelled correctly and in the correct order. Once you've gotten to your last word, you can continue to scroll down on the page and you're gonna be met with text that says, please check and double check your notes. There will be a test. Something I really appreciate about the cold card is that it does just double check that you have the words correctly written down and in the correct order by quizzing you on each one of the words. For me, it says word number one is, and then a question mark, along with three options. And I wanna review what I've written down and make a selection, either one, two, or three, for the right word. You're gonna notice as you're going through this, the order is scrambled. You know, your quiz might begin with word seven is blank or word 11 is blank. And it's gonna run you through all 12 words just so you can make sure you have the words in the correct order. I'll give you a second to go ace that quiz while I ace mine. And then you're gonna be presented with just a few housekeeping items for your cold card. You won't see these options if you're working through a uh, cold card MK3, and you can always turn it on in the settings later on. Perfect, now I am taken to a brand new menu that says ready to sign at the very top. This would be of course, signing transactions with your new Bitcoin signing device or new cold card hardware wallet. With that said, your cold card at this point in time is completely set up. You have your seed phrase words recorded. You know the order of them based on that additional quiz you took. You have your pin set for your cold card, that first part and second part of your pin. From here, you're free to use your cold card as your new Bitcoin key. Thank you for checking out this video. Really appreciate your time. We'll see you in the next one.